Battle starts. It's lion fire! Hello, good people of YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about the Tier 8 Premium German Battleship Odin. Now, well, I guess it's, te it's technically a reward ship now because of the way they're releasing it, but whatever. Uh, the Odin, uh, Wargaming announced some changes to it. We're going to get into that here in a second. But to understand where the ships come from and what the ship has gone through, let me just take you through her, a brief history of her and what she's supposed to be. So for all intents and purposes, the Odin is supposed to be pretty much a Tier 8 Scharnhorst. It's a German battleship that has small guns for its tier, but a quick re reload time. It's got tor torpedoes, German secondaries, German armor, and all of that. But the thing with the Odin that upset a whole lot of people, myself included, is that it originally had appropriate HP for Tier 8. It had similar HP to... The Tirpitz and the Bismarck, but then Wargaming went and nerfed it down to, like, it, it's got less uh, less hit points than the Congo, than a Tier 5 battleship now. And uh, they, they addressed that in this post, but yeah, anyone who, well, well, we'll get more into that in a second, That that's getting ahead of myself, but right now I'm going to read... Word from word from the World War System Development Blog Facebook page. I'll put a link to this in the description down below. And it's dealing with the Odin, so here we go. ST.9.5 Balance Changes to German Battleship Odin. Odin combines all of the best features of German battleships. A good secondary armament, torpedoes, and strong, reliable armor. These positives are balanced out by a lower amount of HP and a relatively low caliber. Of course, as a battleship, one of the main threats Odin can potentially face is a torpedo attack. However, this threat is all but neutralized by, the, by her hydroacoustic search consumable, another brand feature of German battleships. In spite of her main gun caliber, Odin is not held back by the traditionally mediocre German battleship accuracy. That's an understatement. On top of that, she enjoys good ballistics, a fast rate of fire, decent concealment, and capable AA. She can effectively fight against cruisers at any range, and she's pretty strong in close combat, too. While playing against ships of tier 9 to 10, Odin's gameplay changes. Instead of leading aggressive pushes, which can be justified against tier 6 to 8 enemies, the battleship can instead switch to a safer strategy and take full advantage of her accurate guns. From a balanced point of view, her performance stats proved to be too high. Both average and skillful players showed performance that far exceed other tier 8 battleships but the uh, tier 8 battleships they played. Moreover, we should take into account that the general efficiency of ships usually grows after their release. The reason for it is the following. On test ships, players tend to take more risk, and the enemies are always happy to focus the new ship to test their strength. Our goal with Odin, as with any other ship, is to create interesting gameplay while keeping her balanced with other ships in the game. Furthermore, Odin is a premium ship. Aha, so it is a premium. Which means that a situation where it would need nerfs after release is highly undesirable. With all that in mind, we are applying these final changes to the ship. Okay, so these are final changes. Okay. Strengthening her AA and secondary armament, but increasing main battery reload time. We do it in the best interest of the game as we want to keep Odin interesting and dynamic. But at the same time, we don't want to have her power creep other battleships. Whew. Main battery reload time increased from 20 to 23 seconds. Secondary battery firing range increased from 7.5 to 7.7 .7 kilometers. Secondary battery 128 millimeter reload time reduced from 3.6 to 3.4 seconds. Secondary battery 150 millimeter reload time reduced from 7.5 to 7 seconds. Continuous AA damage increased from 249 to 258. Damage by medium range AA guns reduced reduced from 336 to 333. Damage by long range AA guns increased from 249 to 258. Before Odin becomes available for everyone, we will release a small update with these final settings. Estimated time June 2nd. So that our community contributors will be able to make their final reviews and showcase what Odin's got to offer. Thank you for your attention. So, well, that's interesting. So they increased the main battery reload time from 20 to 23 seconds. Three seconds. It's not the longest time in battleship turns, but it's not the shortest time either. I mean, three seconds. And 
you know, to someone who doesn't play this game, that, that sounds like a very insignificant amount of time, but that's, I would say that's an um, okay change. Again, I haven't played this ship, but just looking at the stats and all that, increasing the secondary battery range was a good thing. Well, base is 7.7 kilometers, so I estimate that, you know, you'll be able to get these well over 11 kilometers with a full secondary build. Uh, reducing the reload time of the 128 millimeter guns, of course, those can, with uh, those with German HE, of course, can pin 32 millimeters of armor. Same with the 150. So the 128 reload at 3.4 seconds, the 150s reload in seven seconds now, and it, and buffing the AA. You know, this is so. The, I think this is overall is a good change. Um, you know, a 20 second reload time at tier eight on. Well, actually, because you can get the the Bismarck has like a 25. Hmm. So it's two seconds quicker. And again, this is just base, not with uh, any mods and stuff added on. So you probably could, st yeah, you could still get this to like a 20 second reload easy, just with a drill and rush taking a couple of hits. Which yeah, the Odin, and th th this is this is the thing with the Odin. They even mention, you know, it, it, it can aggressively push tier 6 to 8 ships, but, you know, it shouldn't be doing that in tier 9 and 10 games. And, oh well, yeah, no tier 8 battleship, unless it's the Turpets, is really going to go and push tier 9 and tier 10 ships. Even in the Bismarck, I wouldn't really recommend doing that because you just don't have the punching power to do that. But in the Turpets with the Torpedoes, you do. Because, you know, Bismarck... It only has eight 15 inch guns and you know you don't really have the pushing power to do that if they're full health if they're like half health depending on the ship yeah yeah i might go for it but you know something like turpus has torpedoes and you know, go for it all together and odin does have torpedoes odin does have torpedoes it has a turpus torpedoes i do believe so you know you could probably still push tier 9 battleships tier 10s i don't know because you do have the health of a Congo, and that's the thing with German battleships and their armor. Their armor is fantastic at close range for absorbing shots, and at long range, the trade-off is, of course, you eat more shots at long range. That's, that's a trade-off for having the armor. Giving a, a tier 8 premium battleship, you know, 50-something thousand health, I think it's like 50, what is it, like 52, 53 thousand health that it has? <sighs> You're going to eat. You're going to eat shells at long range, and being a tier eight battleship, when you get up to the tier ten, which again, it's going to happen quite a bit, even with the matchmaking changes. It's uh, I I can't imagine it'd be a fun time. But again, I don't have the ship yet, and I haven't played it. I've watched a couple of videos on it, but again, it's changing, and pff, it's hard to say whether or not it's going to be a good ship based off of uh the stats and stuff, but, you know, these changes, I do think they will be for the good, increasing the AA efficiency, increasing the secondary range. I I, I would imagine that once Odin's released, it's probably going to be a pretty good Tier 8 battleship at Tier 8, but it's probably just going to absolutely suck when you get up tiered. And I don't know why they are so resistant to give it, you know, like a 2,000 or 3,000 HP buff. Because, I mean, nerfing it by 10,000 HP, that's pretty rough for a battleship. It's pretty rough for any ship in the game if you lose, you know, that much of your health. That that, that, that was a fifth of its health almost in, in one nerf. You know, that that's rough. If you take that off of any, that proportional, that, uh, that proportional amount of health off of any ship in the game, that's a rough buff, uh, a rough nerf. And I was surprised when they did that because Wargaming seemed to be going in the the direction of these small minuscule buffs over time. So I would imagine they would have done, you know, maybe like 1,000 health here gone, 1,000 health here gone. If you look at some other ships, I, uh, I can't, uh, I forget the name of the ship that they did this to. But yeah, they, they just took off like 1,500 health once one time and then like another 1,000 health the other time. I can't remember what ship it was um, that was on testing that they did that to. But, I mean, shoot, that's absolutely using a sledgehammer against the Odin. But, I don't know, I guess we will have to wait and see for it to release. And I will get Odin day one, I've said that when I covered the Dockyard event. I am going to get it day one, so 
wait, don't buy it right away because if you want to buy it outright with the blooms, it's going to cost you um, uh, upwards of a hundred and something dollars. So don't buy it right away. I'm going to get it day one. I'll have my first impressions video out like the next day. So that'll be out for you guys to see what it's like. I do like these changes overall though. The secondary buff is nice. The A buff is very nice. The 23 second reload time, I mean, yeah, you do have small guns for tier 8, but you do have 9 of them. And they are pretty accurate from what Wargaming has said and from what I have seen on on and around YouTube. So we will have to wait and see. But again, overall, I like the changes. I just hope they do, you know, maybe give it a little bit of a health buff after it gets released. But, you know, like they said, this is, these, this is apparently the final changes for the uh, Odin. So... We'll have to see. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think the Odin still needs a health buff? Do you, are, is this buff enough to make you interested in the Odin again? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 15,000 subscribers. We are getting very close to passing 12,000, which is amazing, guys. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. Hope you're all having a very wonderful Tuesday. And hope to catch you guys in the next one.